Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead, August uh, 30th through September the 5th, 2021. Hope you guys are all doing well and welcome back to my channel. If you are a new visitor here, welcome. Um, I am the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot. We're doing uh, weekly forecasts and we do weekly forecasts here, bi-weeklies, uh, general readings. I also do daily messages over here. So. We do rotate around uh, pretty often, um, mainly because I get tired of doing the same thing over and over again, but that's just me. So, um, but uh, please hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to my channel. And in this uh, reading, we're going to be looking at uh, six cards for your week ahead. I will go through that as we get to that part of the reading. Uh, but you can watch this reading if you are an Aries sun, Aries moon, Aries rising, Aries on the house cusp. If you have your sun in the first house or Venus in Aries, you can watch this reading. I'm also going to be clarifying. Oh, let me. Oh, sorry. Backtrack here. We're using the Crow Tarot deck today by created by MJ Cullinane. And um, this is copyright 2019 U.S. Game Systems Incorporated for those of you who are interested in purchasing. Um, yeah, that's it. I think I got that at a bookstore, so I'm, I, I cannot, I don't actually know if you can get that online or not. I'm also going to be using the Pagan Lenormand Oracle card tier by Gina M. Pace and artwork by Franco Rivoli. We're going to clarify cards with these. Okay. And as needed. And then at the end of your reading, I'll be pulling an Oracle message from the Rumi Oracle here. Okay. By Alana Fairchild. Now, I know these messages are long. Um, so I may just be reading the cards intuitively, or I may just give you a brief, a shorter, shorter message. I'm not going to read the whole, the whole damn message. Okay. Cause that could take a long time for those roomy cards. So Aries, feel free to fast forward to the actual reading time here, or I will find stamp it below in the description box for you. Any information you may need Aries is listed below in the description box, as well as my uh, website scheduling pages down there. If you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, I am accepting personals at this time. So check that out. So Spirit, show me what's coming down the pipeline for Aries over the next week, August 30th through September the 6th. Got to get that in my head. August 30th through September the 6th. 6th. No, September the 5th. Sorry. Show me how does Aries see themselves today. At the time that they receive this reading, how, do the, how does Aries see themselves today? What is the theme for them over the next week, August 30th through September the 6th, 2021? What is the theme for Aries over the next week, August 30th through September the 6th, 2021? What is something Aries has learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week? What is a challenge they may be facing? A lesson they are learning now. And a gift they will receive. All Aries, suns, moons, risings. Aries on the house cusp. Those with their sun in the first house. And Venus and Aries. Go ahead and cut the deck here. Okay. Do keep in mind these are general readings. Okay, they may not resonate with everyone. So if you don't resonate with your sun sign, check your moon or rising sign. Um, I would recommend starting off watching your sun sign. But of course, um, you know, if you find you don't resonate, move on. So let's see. We have our, uh, let's see, six cards here, right? At the bottom of the deck, we have the devil in reverse. Okay, Capricorn. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn over the next week. Um, some of you are going to be quitting a bad habit. This could be quitting an addiction, um, stopping a, a pattern, breaking out of a commitment here, uh, breaking a bad habit, um, saying no to agreements or commitments that feel stifling. Um, this could also be getting out of a toxic relationship or um, stopping doing something that is toxic in your life. So we definitely like the devil in reverse here. What is this? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse underneath that. Okay, so some of you could also be dealing with a Virgo. I'm also seeing something about codependency here or dependency. Maybe you no longer want to be dependent on someone or you no longer want to be in a codependent relationship. It's going to resonate differently for all of you out there. 
So Aries, how you see yourself today, we have the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this is the spy card. We also have Gemini energy here. So you could have Gemini in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. Um, so some of you here are spying on others or you're doing some kind of surveillance. This also could indicate a missed message or missed um, uh, uh, messy communication. Um, I would also say watch your tone here. You could be also extremely paranoid about what other people are saying. This could also be gossip, rumors, getting something from a third party, hearing something that's not very nice. It's just going to depend. This is definitely about communication and surveillance. So your theme for the next week is the Nine of Cups, Pisces. So it looks like you're going to be getting your wish fulfilled this week, whatever, whatever it is you are trying to manifest currently. I feel like there's a wish coming true. So this is very positive. This is a lot of happiness, contentment. Um, this has to do with personal satisfaction as well. It can indicate smugness, of course, but I'm not seeing that. I'm also seeing some of you are indulging this week in um, lots of different foods, fruits. I'm seeing apples, fish, blueberries, grapes, cherries, um, flowers. So maybe doing something nice for yourself would also aid in that, in that process. But I'm definitely seeing here enjoyment, contentment, food, wine, friends, maybe getting together here and celebrating. Um, overall, this looks very nice. All right, so something Aries has learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week. We have the King of Swords. Uh, as you can see, we have Saturn here. Okay, so Saturn, the original, uh, is the original, um, I believe the original ruler of Aquarius, if I'm not mistaken. I'm the old ruler. Okay. Okay, so there's someone here in your past. Uh, this could be your energy or another air sign. I want to say Aquarius here. Um, the King of Swords is a no bullshit, kind of like cutthroat, um, very stoic, kind of like boundaries are in check kind of person. This is someone that goes by the book, um, could be someone in police, law enforcement, land, landlord, property owner, doctor, lawyer. Um, this is someone that just has no tolerance. They just don't have a tolerance for BS. This is someone that's on their game. Um, also with the king here energy, high manifestation, high, uh, I would say, yeah, a high, high vibration type of being here. So uh, sitting in the throne of air. So um, the master here of communication, logic and reason. So you may have been dealing with someone like this in your past. If so, you might have learned a lesson from this person or around this energy. Um, but I do see the air energy coming up for you kind of in your current situation. So this might have also been you in the past here. Um, I'm hearing something about don't relax your communication or you need to stay on top of your communication at this point. Everything needs to, this is about, you know, checking your facts, watching how you speak. Everything has to be done very straightforward. This is also about, um, like I said, when I say doing something by the book, it literally means like if you have to look something up, double check, whatever, cross your T's, dot your I's, please go ahead and do that. It's coming up again for you this week as a lesson you already learned that would be useful for you to remember this week. So um, I'm just kind of getting, um, don't get too comfortable, okay? You want to keep it buttoned up here. So the challenge for you over the next week is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay, we have Jupiter here. I believe Jupiter is currently retrograding in the sign of Aquarius. So um, I don't know, check to see where you have Jupiter placements because I feel like it's affecting you this week. Now, this is not a big cause for concern uh, unless it is a major arcana. So you do want to keep an eye out on it, but... So your challenge is to get to the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position, which could be hard because it seems like there's some kind of uh, planetary influence that's kind of what I want to say is you're going against the grain here. It's, it's kind of not working to your favor this week. So that's why I want to say um, Jupiter Jupiter and Aquarius retrograde, check in your chart where you have it. Um, if it's in an air sign placement for you, that, uh, if it's not, it is in an air sign placement, but if, if it's in a communication house for you, um, or if it's in a, how should I say, um, uh, 
uh, a strong, if it has a strong placement in your chart right now, um, then you may want to watch out because what I'm getting here is that uh, there could be ongoing setbacks, delays, and confusion when it comes to that area of your life wherever you have Jupiter. I would also say that here, um, I would I would not gamble at this time, not with your money, your, your assets, your communication, nothing. Um, I, I want to say don't leave anything to chance because um, you do not have the you do not have luck on your side this week. Sorry to say that I, that's what I'm getting. Um, it's not a lucky influence. In fact, a lot could go wrong. This does actually indicate misfortune here. So you just need to be careful. Like I say, dot cross your cross your T's, dot your eyes. So a lesson Aries is learning now. Okay, this week we have the Six of Wands victory. So there is something here about being in the public spotlight, receiving public attention, acclaim, um, getting the ego strokes, the validation uh, that you want and I'm hearing so desperately need at this time. So this is good. This is positive. Um, you also may be learning something about a victory here, a, a validation, um, getting an award. Some of you might be getting some kind of an award this week or some kind of an acclaim. I'm also getting something about being in the press or public exposure. We have Leo coming up here uh, and the opposite uh, energy of Aquarius. And then we have Sag in the middle here. Uh, Pisces and Gemini coming up in your reading. So learning a lesson about... Uh, uh, also, what here, you know, if you have an audience or if you're in the spotlight or you or you do something in the public, um, kind of what makes you feel good? What makes you feel honorable? Because the Six of Wands is also about honor and acclaim. It's about um, getting that validation here. So um, that looks very nice. It's puzzling to me. I will clarify this in a minute why the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse for you, but in the challenge position. But let's see. Your gift is... The Eight of Wands, very nice, Sagittarius. So things moving along swiftly, communications um, coming and going here. If you've been waiting on a message, I do see it coming in. Um, things can happen fast now. Things can really pick up. The pace is picking up for sure. This is also good for travel, short distance travel as well. I'm hearing long distance communication as well. Um, any uh, kind of... Any kind of errors or issues you've been having, you know, starting off at the beginning of the week when it comes to maybe overhearing something or not hearing something that you particularly like, I feel like it cle clears up. Interesting, I'm hearing a clean up, something about a clean up or a clear up. Something about that is being cleared up. Okay, good. It's being cleared up. So let's go ahead and clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for... Aries in the challenge position. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Aries? Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Aries, please? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, they're not talking to me. Come on. We have the anchor. Okay, so something is stuck here or something is stagnant or... This is also like when you think of like dropping anchor here, something's unmovable or something is staying put here. What else? Clarify the wheel of fortune in reverse. Clarify the wheel of fortune in reverse. Okay, we have the moon. There's some confusion here. This could also be um, confusion as to why things are delayed, why things are moving forward. Um, there may also be some stuff going on behind the scenes here that you're not privy to. Okay. Definitely something going on with, I want to say the ocean. I, I don't know, picking up something about the ocean as well. Could have to do with a water sign. So something isn't moving the way you think it should or as fast as you think it should. There is some confusion here. Um, stuff going on behind the scenes. What else about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Let's get one more. One more card for the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, please. 
Okay, we have the the lady here. So this is concerning a female, possibly. Could be a, a pertaining to a female or a woman here. Um, maybe you are experiencing some setbacks, delays, and confusion when it comes to a woman who is refusing to take action on her life or to move forward, or she is um, spinning out of control for some reason, or things are spinning out of control with this person. Anyway, I feel like whatever this is does get cleared up by the end of the week. It feels like it has to do with a particular person. And I will say I was getting that that Wheel of Fortune has not to do with you. It's to do with someone else that you may be dealing with. An important woman in your life could be a Sagittarius. I'm also getting um, something having to do with her, um, her moon sign or... Um, of course, moon is mother, so it would have to do with her cycles as well. Maybe her cycles are off or she's experiencing some delays. Okay. Why are things not moving with this person? So can you go ahead and uh, let's get some guidance for Aries over the next week. August 30th through September 5th. Can we get some guidance for Aries? Guidance for my Aries over the next week. The impossible made possible. Yes. Whatever that one thing is that you thought could never happen, the one thing that was stuck in your life that wasn't moving, the one thing that you're like, this is, it seems like this is an impossible situation. I don't know how I'm going to get through it or get through to this person. I feel like out of nowhere, things move forward. Things are catapulted. There is some kind, some kind of a miracle here happening is what I feel. Um, you find a way. And also, this is about applied, you know, applied effort as well. But um, the, where there's a will, there's a way, you know. So let's get a little bit more info. That's number nine. I love the number nine. Nines represent wholeness, completion, and perfection in numerology. So they are at the end of a cycle here. So you are wrapping something up. So there's a little poem here. I'll just read it. Love brings the sea into boiling and turns the mountain into a pebble. Love creates infinite openings in the dark sky and shudders the earth with its magnitude. Rumi. She spins this great earth goddess upon invisible strings amongst a wildly pulsating ballet of life. Stars are born, live and die all around her. Life moves in constant flux, and still she spins in her great, loving, constant pirouette. How can this be? All of creation is born from nothing. Out of endless silence and darkness, light emerges. What strange magic is this? The sun heats the solar system and burns with the power to destroy life, yet it is a force by which life is sustained. Surely this makes no sense and cannot be. We dance in the realm of the impossible made possible constantly, you and I. We are so engrossed in it, so familiar with it and yet blind to it, that these constant impossibilities happening in every moment fail to inspire us. So I'm going to leave it there, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed your weekly reading. Take good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye.